Hi, I'm Michael Keller. I'm an application engineer working with our pressure and temperature transmitters. And today we're going to go over connecting our EJX 900 series Modbus transmitter with a USB Modbus converter. All right, so in order to interface between your computer and your EJX 900 series Modbus transmitter, you're going to need some type of converter. So we offer this uh, USB to RS-485 converter made by Blackbox. It's model SP390A-R2. Um, there's a link below to the, to the Black Box website where you can see and purchase it. And also, you could go, we're going to start keeping inventory, so we'll have it available for purchase as well. So again, the only thing you're going to need to do with this is you're going to need to install the driver that comes in the package to make sure you can interface correctly. So this Modbus converter on the back side has a few dip switches that you have to set correctly in order to, to connect correctly. So all of them are to the right. So because we have an RS-485 transmitter and it's a two-hour device, everything's to the right. Um, the, here's a couple wiring diagrams. So a couple things to note. If you look at the left wiring diagram, so you've got your, your power supply, so 24 volts DC, pretty standard for a pressure transmitter. Then you have these two Modbus communication terminals. This is Modbus A and B. So just one um, quick thing to note, don't, um, don't hook the power to the Modbus A and B terminals because that could, that could actually damage the transmitter. So that's the, that's the main thing to worry about when you're wiring these uh, Modbus 910s. And the diagram on the right shows exactly how our USB computer converter from Blackbox wires directly to our Modbus transmitter. So again, RDA minus on the black box converter wires directly into Modbus A, and RDB plus in the black box converter wires directly with Modbus B. All right, so here is an actual EJX 900 series Modbus uh, wired up. So we've got 24 volt DC power coming in from the left electrical connection, so to the two plus and minus power terminals. And then we have Modbus communication coming in from the right electrical connection to Modbus A and B. So again, Modbus A connects to RDA A minus, and Modbus B connects to RDB plus. And the other connections on the Modbus converter are not needed for this demonstration. These are the default settings for the EJX 900 series Modbus transmitter. Um, it's just nice to be aware of this, that you know, if you get a transmitter out of the box with no configuration changes, you know, the baud rate's gonna be 9600, your stop bit's gonna be one bit, there's gonna be no parity, your slave address is one, and your turnaround delay time is 10. So that's what you should look for when you're trying to connect to the Modbus transmitter for the first time. Now, if, if there are changes, if those settings were changed, then you can always cycle the power on the transmitter and actually the indicator will display all the Modbus settings. So you can see at first uh, the EGX 910 model name comes up for three seconds, then it lets you know, you know it's a Modbus transmitter, then it's going to let you know the device revision, and then finally your Modbus settings, so your slave address, and then the 9600 is your baud rate, the 8 on the bottom left of the indicator is your uh, data length, your parity is uh, in the middle bottom, so that's even E for even, O for odd, and then N for none. And then your stop bit length is uh, on the bottom right at 1. So when you're connecting um, your EJX 900 series to, let's say, uh, a Modbus software program like ModScan or even with uh, FieldMate, there's just a couple uh, things to be aware of. So you got to make sure that the configuration, it's going to ask you all the Modbus configuration values that we just spoke about. So you got to make sure those are consistent with what the actual device is running on. So again, cycle the power and make sure everything matches up. As for the COM port for the, for the USB uh, converter, it should automatically find it if you have the, de uh, the driver downloaded. But if you're having trouble, go to your control panel in Windows and then device manager and ports and see which COM port it's directly connected to. If you have any more questions about our EGX 900 series Modbus transmitter or any other pressure and temperature product, please contact us at pt.us.yokoyawa.com 
or our new DP Harp line. And also look for more technical support presentations in the future. Thank you.